The city of Brentwood's brand new park opens this weekend. It is the latest in a series of improvements in the city. Five on your side's Elise Schoenig is live in Brentwood to tell us what's new. Elise? Well, and city leaders say this park was years in the making. You can actually see there's still some construction here at the park, and that's because this particular piece is still in the works. But it's a movement leaders say will better the city's future after learning from its past. The sound of applause. When you look at everything that was involved, there was there was a risky decision. Symbolizing welcomed change. You know, it's not as if there's a three ring binder on the bookshelf that you can pull down, open up and read it like a recipe on how to do something like this. Brentwood leaders and residents all gathered for the ribbon cutting of the new Brentwood Park. One, two, three. Brentwood. The city's largest and newest park has lots of green space holding a trail, amphitheater, pavilion and come this fall, a destination playground for kids. We have turned a once turned a once neglected property into a destination that will be cherished by our residents for decades. Dave Puffka with the Brentwood Board of Aldermen says the park is just one piece of a massive city project known as Brentwood Bound. We'd established a couple of things in Brentwood. A track record of revenue and a history of repeated flooding. Brentwood Bound was designed to increase safety and reduce flooding along Manchester Road. We're hoping that what that does is it ushers in uh, a greater amount of safety for the businesses that are here and for the residents that live along Manchester Road that three, four, five times a year would wake up to flooding water. He says this history fueled years of plans for where the city's at today. We're getting you know, bigger and bigger in Brentwood. Residents like Jane Rich are on board with what this means for the next generation of Brentwood too. When the new park opens on the playground for the kids, I've got two grandkids, I can't wait to get them there. Welcoming change for the Thanks future for is done best by studying the past. Now there is some more fun on the way for people who didn't get to make it to that uh, opening today. There is a grand opening tomorrow here at 11 a.m. There will be some free activities and entertainment, and then there will be some food from food trucks that people can purchase out here as well. But for now, we are reporting live in Brentwood. Elise Schoenig, five on your side.